What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you my full review of the new iPad. Let's first go ahead and talk about the design. The new iPad is thicker coming in at 9.4 millimeters, where the iPad 2 was at 8.8 .8 millimeters. And the weight of the new iPad is 1.44 pounds, where the prior iPad 2 was 1.33 pounds. So as you can see, it is a little bit of a difference, but in my opinion, it's not big a difference at all. Next up, let's go ahead and talk about battery life. The new iPad has a 70% bigger battery than the iPad 2. That is going to be, of course, to power the new Retina display as well as uh, all the quad-core graphics that's going to be going on with the gaming. Now, Apple states that you do get 10 hours of battery life on Wi-Fi and 9 hours on your 4G LTE. And I do find that to be true on both cases. Let's go ahead and talk about the processor. The iPad 2 has the A5 processor, where the new iPad has the A5X processor. The speed of the new iPad is not going to be too much different than the iPad 2. Next up, let's talk about the Retina display. And Apple does say that it does come in at 2048 by 1536, which is uh, 264 pixels per square inch where the iPad 2 came in at uh, 1028 by 768 which comes in at 132 pixels per square inch and the new color saturation feature in the new iPad is 44 percent greater than the iPad 2 and it really shines in the photo department so let's go ahead and take a look at some photos shot from the new iPad and the iPad 2 The videos look awesome and way better than the iPad 2. Next is gaming. The gaming is just all around better thanks to the graphics on the new Retina display and the quad-core graphics on the A5X processor. Uh, the graphics all around look better, more clear, and it's just uh, better and enjoyable to play than the iPad 2. Now I'm not saying the graphics on the iPad 2 are bad because they do look good, but the uh, new iPad definitely does have uh, very good graphics and the uh, Retina display does show off those graphics very well. Next is text. And when you're reading a book or looking at a website, you can clearly see that when you zoom in uh, on the text that it is very nice in comparison to the iPad 2 or it does look pixelated at times in certain websites. So on websites where text is going to be your primary objective and what you're looking for um, in the new iPad, the text looks very much more rich and does not become obstreneous to the eyes after looking at the text for a long period of time. Now quickly, my thoughts on the Retina display. I have been getting a lot of comments asking me, should I get the new iPad just because it has the new Retina display? And it does look sharper and clearer, but no, in my opinion, if you have the iPad 2, I would not get it just for that purpose. Next up is Siri Dictation. And Apple did not include Siri in the new iPad, which is a little odd seeing that um, it's completely capable of uh, running Siri. I think the only possible answer that Apple could give is that Siri is still in beta and is not yet uh, fully capable and fully functional um, is possibly the only reason Apple could give as them not including it into the new iPad. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with Siri dictation. It does work very good, which is pretty much speech to text. I haven't had any problems with it. I don't use Siri too often anyways, so I wasn't too disappointed, but it's a little odd and strange that Apple did not include Siri into the new iPad. Next, let's talk about the camera. Apple has updated the camera on the back of the new iPad, calling it the uh, EyeSight camera. 
So I don't know why they opted to change um, the name of the camera, but they did. It is now uh, capable of 5 megapixel photos as well as 1080p video recording at 30 frames per second. On the new iOS 5.0.1, they implemented the camera shutter button on the right side next to your thumb, which I thought was very nice of Apple to include. It does uh, add for a better photo taking experience and video uh, recording experience. Next up, let's talk about 4G LTE speeds. As you know, if you watch the channel, I did pick up both the AT&T and Verizon model. That way I could put them to the test in my area and, and uh, once and for all figure out who was faster. Upon comparing them and running numerous tests, I did uh, draw the conclusion that AT&T is a lot faster, which is um, something that I wasn't looking forward to. I was kind of looking forward to switching to Verizon on my iPad and keeping AT&T on my iPhone just to see which one was better in that way. Uh, one thing to note is that Verizon does have a hotspot uh, natively in the OS and the settings built in. That's something that uh, AT&T just simply does not have at all. They don't have no option for a hotspot um, capability on the new iPad. I did contact AT&T because I was frustrated with this and they did say that uh, they are working with Apple to implement this on a new future update. So I am looking forward to that. Um, I do encourage you to run speed tests and figure out in your area which network is faster and which will be better for you. I have seen in uh, many photographs that the Verizon uh, iPad in certain areas on their 4G LTE coverage was getting uh, as high as 30 up and 32 uh, up and 32 down, which is amazing for a tablet. Um, in my particular area, I was only not even getting a gigabyte up and down with Verizon. I encourage you to check in your area which uh, 4G LTE coverage is better. All right, my final thoughts on the iPad. Should you upgrade? If you have the iPad too, it's not an immediate upgrade. I would say no, go ahead and wait. If this uh, is your first iPad or if you have the first generation iPad, I would say yes. This is a great time to upgrade or a great time to buy your first uh, iPad. The uh, new iPad is very nice. Uh, Apple did update all the right specs and did do what um, the consumers asked. The thing to keep in mind is that the iPad 2 is now $100 cheaper and it is a great device as well. So if you're looking for to save a little bit of money, I would say and, and encourage you to get the iPad 2. So that's it guys. That's going to do it for me. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate it. Also hit the subscribe button and you will be notified of my videos as I upload them. Thanks for tuning in. Please uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the new iPad. And let me know what you think is the best new feature of the new iPad. Uh, don't forget I'm giving away the new iPad here uh, very soon once I reach 6,000 subscribers. Feel free to share this video on Facebook and retweet it on Twitter. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys around the channel.